Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be an Astro Flower reading from the 22nd going through to the 28th of August. You're taking, or well, some of you will be taking the first steps into your autumn period. You may start feeling things slowing down, but as I've seen with most signs, this is very much an Indian summer scenario uh, where summer does tend to sort of continue on and you may feel like life is still very hectic. That will calm down over the next sort of like two or three weeks in your natural rhythm of the shows. The shows? Uh, the things. Imagine the natural rhythm of life. I went into French full on then. Do apologise. I've been travelling around so much and I've just got back. I've been doing loads of healings this week. So it's been, um, I'm in complete French mode because I'm in France at the moment. Uh, I will be doing healings in the UK, uh, in Kent uh, in September, going from uh, the uh, 13th, 14th, uh, 15th of September, something around those sort of dates. Uh, check out the website to uh, get more details. Okay, let's just see what's going on straight away with your um, with your uh, with your flower. Yeah, we can feel the calm coming in because it's starting to slow down on the karmic messages and then the influence from the universe. But there's still a lot going on in your everyday life. Uh, at the moment so the confrontation or the interconnection with the society around you or with the general life around you be that in the spiritual sense or the physical sense you, you may feel that it's still very quick that it's moving on very quickly let's just see what's going on with the overall energy let it ride that's what it's all saying it's almost like, you know, it, as I say, Indian summer. It seems to be like that for most signs this, this year. Um, and um, I had a little bit of that in my autumn as well, this year as well. But anyway, um, it seems like here is like, it's sort of kind of saying, enjoy that Indian summer. Allow things to move on. Don't worry about reflecting too much in your life. Uh, allow things to just flow through for you. Everybody's getting the um, the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups underneath as well. And I think it's good to do with how you unify yourself. And it's that change of, it could be the change of fortunes, financial fortunes in your life. Uh, it could be a change of fortunes in regards to sort of relationships and love and that sort of thing. But I think it's, it is um, how, a uh, change of fortunes of how we get back into that rhythm of life, basically. And I think, I, I feel that's what it is in most of the signs. It's a definite change of, uh, change of vibration, basically. Um, let's see what's going on with the karmic message on the uh, relationship side. You appear to be attracting a lot of attention. There seems to be a lot of people around you, really a lot of connections with friends, family. Don't think this is a couple sort of loving week in that sense. But I think it's a love in, in the sense of I'm enjoying uh, the people that are around me. Uh, I'm enjoying the uh, relationships and the community factor going on. It's all change. It's all change. Quite a few signs have had the word as well. The world, not the word. Um, so it is uh, the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And this is what you might start noticing. This is what I said in this section here. It's a lot quieter and it's that change that is coming through you. I think you'll probably notice it in your everyday life. Uh, you know, just in, if you weren't looking too hard uh, or, or exploring things, uh, you know, uh, if you're preoccupied, you'll notice in about sort of two or three weeks. Uh, if you're really getting into your meditation and stuff like that, you may notice that undercurrent that's calming down as well. And it is a change of one cycle to another. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence uh, that karmic message. I've got someone laying on the beach. I think this is all about enjoying your Indian summer, enjoying what you've done over the past year, enjoying the fruits of your labour or your interaction with other people, the, the relationships that you've created. Don't want that card. Let's just see on that one. Temperance, timing. It is a bit of patience. This new cycle is coming through. As I say, I think the universe here is, is sort of helping you to 
have that Indian summer, really explore the next sort of two weeks. It should be really enjoyable. Uh, but it is a case of timing, realizing that there is a pause going to happen uh, in life for you. It's just a moment of healing in a way for yourself. And just to an, analyze what you've been doing over the last year and what you want to be doing in the coming year. And I think with the relationships here, uh, within the Indian summer scenario, uh, I would be very light with the relationships and just enjoy the moment. Enjoy the connections that you can have with all the community and the people that are around you. Okay? So someone laying on a beach. Page of Wands. Uh, yeah, enjoyment, experimenting, exploring that childlike interaction with life, that curiosity of life. Who are you? What's your name? Oh, right, okay. I've seen you before. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're Uncle Joe's uh, nephew or whatever it is. You know, it's that sort of connecting with people and really enjoying that fullness. Oh, you're a friend of Bob's. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen you once or whatever. It's, it's, that's what they're trying to encourage in you, your guides. So it might well be very sociable for you this week, being invited to barbecues or be invited to places and stuff like that. Uh, and I, I would accept it. I would, I would go along and allow life to just carry you through in a way. Let's just see how the um, guides are influencing that conversation that is within you. This is a bit more hectic. This is a bit more sort of, um, it's constant, they're, they're helping you to concentrate on the here and now, stopping you from deviating off into loads of different directions. Um, and just enjoying the moment, enjoying the relationships that are around you. Uh, it's, it's like you've planted those seeds, they've grown them, you've been looking after them all the way through uh, the springtime and the summertime, and now you've got the fruits and you can enjoy those fruits. You don't have to work hard to get those fruits, you just go pluck it off the tree as it were. Um, so yeah, so enjoying it. Yeah, a bit of a call to action maybe. As I said, it's still gonna be very hectic. It's still gonna be sort of like uh, wanting to connect with those other people that are around you. Uh, and it should be fun, should be uh, that childlike energy as well that needs to come through. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's a case of enjoying the excitement of people inviting you places. I think this is what it is, connecting you to uh, the greater community. And I would accept it, all time, you know, as much as you can. I went into French again, sorry. As much as you can. So... Um, you know, and this could be this could be connected with um, sort of like your 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 soul tribe or your sort of um, you know your family or your couple. Uh, yeah, I, I just allow life to carry you through here. It's a really nice sort of very light, um, very light and enjoyable relationship sort of scenario. Just in case of take or leave it in a way. It's just not it's not a stress. There's nothing uh, nothing sort of like you know, um, life changing as it were, but it is definitely enjoyment. And this is really important. If you're looking for enjoyment in your life and it turns up, you better be ready to relax and enjoy yourself. A lot of people have a problem with that. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you actually find it and then you kind of go, oh, I found it now, I better look for something else. Well, why don't you enjoy what you found before you start looking for something else? What's the point? Why would you go looking for something when it's great at the at the at home? I really want to break into French. Sorry, I do apologise. I keep breaking into it. I was going to say maison rather than house. Let's just see what's going on on your work front. They're showing very long pathways, so. I would be interested, if I was you, in regards to jobs, business, and projects, I would look to develop the longer-term plans, the longer-term goals, rather than quick wins. Um, you know, taking on, say, like, rather than just, you know, taking on two or three jobs, say, like, to decorate a room, uh, take on a job to build a house if you understand what I mean. So 
So it seems like that, going for the ah, bit of a leap of faith. These are very, very good cards at the base here. There's a definite change coming through you. Uh, as I say, I don't think you'll see it quite yet in your everyday life, but it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, it is a bit of a leap of faith. If you turn down those three jobs, you may turn around and you may be thinking to yourself, oh, I can't really turn those jobs down because if I go and make this house, I'll be blocked into that for the next year. Therefore, I'll lose all my customers. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's a different way to go about things. I would still look at the long-term plans and take a leap of faith in those long-term plans if I was you. The, um, the universe, let's see how that's influencing this conversation. It ties into the long-term plans and it is opportunities. And it is opportunities of soul satisfying work. They're trying to encourage within you that what you do satisfies your soul. That's what it does. Look at that, you've got that as well. So many people, Leo got that, Cancer got those two cards up in there, in their reading. It's, it's a, there's a real new start for you coming up, uh, Sagittarius. As I say, it's not quite there, I don't think, in your everyday life, but the universe here is sort of saying, if you're gonna do this properly, if you're gonna get that change of fortune going through you, make sure it's soul satisfying. I think that's what, the universe is trying to help you with. Let's just see how your guides are influencing that conversation that is within you. They're really to do with the planning. So if you're planning future long-term goals and stuff like that um, within your business or your job, your career path, it's, it's, it's looking at all the detail. It's starting to look at all the detail because as things calm down, it's going to give you that space and time to look at all the detail, which will be really good for you. OK, so they're really looking at all the detail, crossing the top. So, yeah, you know, this card here could be um, it, it could be also said of being stuck, but also it's sometimes having a good hard look at yourself and seeing what things that you've entrapped yourself in. Uh, it's also uh, feeling trapped. Uh, that's another uh, way of interpreting this card. And as I said, there is a calm coming through and it will be here in the next two or three weeks. And if you are approaching it kind of going, I don't want it to be calm, I want to be really busy. You know, it's like a tree sort of kind of in, in November in the Northern Hemisphere, turning around kind of going, oh, I don't want to lose my leaves, I want to grow new leaves. And it's just, there's no point going against trying to swim constantly upriver. You know, salmon only does it, and when they finally get to the top, they die, you know. But they spend a lot of the time in the sea, but at the beginning, they allow the current to take you through. And I think it's accepting the non-movement in the next sort of two or three weeks will be really important for you. Okay, this is turning into a monthly reading. This is terrible. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a difference between what's going on on the under, under surface, on the foundation of your life, and what's going on in the here and now? That's really quick. All of these cards are all sort of like really patient sort of cards. There is this quickness here, uh, but that's just trying to encourage that childlike attitude. But there is this, uh, there's this, this pause in life, well in the French again, this pause in life which is coming through you. So be aware of that and enjoy the here and now. Let's see what the conversation is going on regarding that. Orientate your work or your job or your business uh, in the direction that's going to make you feel happy about working there. So let's say you're working in a, in a restaurant. It's a run-of-the-mill restaurant. It's a normal restaurant, nothing fancy about it. Uh, and it's, like, it's not the job that you want to do, uh, but it's a stepping stone onto something else or you get a bit caught up in that rut. Maybe it's a case of just putting on a bit of music or, uh, you know, sharing a joke with one of your work colleagues and stuff like that. It's just making it as light as possible, uh, having as much fun in the here and now as possible. Yeah, calming your emotions so you don't, you know, get too hard and heavy on yourself. If 
you're looking at doing business and stuff like that, it's asking you to have a, a cool head, basically. And that cool head can come out through you through humour and music or enjoying things and being passionate about life. Um, so, yeah, it's in trying to uh, invoke a bit of light-hearted enjoyment into your, into your work this week. Uh, because it's going to make it's going to provide you a lot of opportunities going forward um, uh, in the coming in the coming months, as it were. Working on those long term plans. The King of Cups in the background has that that boat sailing across the ocean, and it's calm waters because the the King is calm, as it were. He's got one hand in the bowl of water. That's his emotions, keeping the water still. And there's a lot of work going on under the surface with the starfish. And that's signifying this sort of work that's coming through here. So I would be, yeah, I would be very calm within yourself uh, in regards to work. I'd be much more active in the social environment that is around you. Um, and allow, uh, yeah, and allow you to have a little bit of enjoyment uh, in, your, in your work area if you're not enjoying it. If you're loving that work area, it, you know, in the job that you do, and I hope you do, I hope you have... Um, you know, uh, that was the emperor there, by the way. Uh, I, hope, I hope you have, um, uh, you know, the, uh, if, you're, if you're working a lot, sorry, if you're working a lot and you're really passionate about your job, maybe it's here, it's just sort of saying to you, getting ready to sort of say, okay, after the storm comes the calm and be ready for that calm because that calm can be very disconcerting to a lot of people. As I, as I said, are you ready to have fun? Uh, I don't know if it's in this reading or the other reading, but uh, I was saying that, I think I was saying that to Leo, actually, funnily enough. Um, but it might well be in this reading. So, yeah, it's a case of, yeah, just being calm with your emotions and just enjoy the, the moment. Let's see what's going on in the overall end of this. It's the hearers now, you know, just be wherever I lay my hat is my home sort of attitude in a way, okay? Um, two of cups. We, I did mention that early on, didn't I? With the that was on the that, that, that's amazing. The the wheel of fortune. When I showed you the wheel of fortune early on, and it's going to be coming through. It's going to give you good victories at the moment if you unify those two, two sides of life. Uh, if you enjoy life, if you uh, explore that unification, if you. Uh, try and bring a bit of pleasure into your life, uh, into your work area. If you get very social, uh, you know, allow uh, those uh, invitations to get you through. I think this is going to give you a really good heads up of how you want it to go after your birthday, which you're going to be moving into in the next sort of like two or three weeks, where it's going to become important about the future and what you've done in the past. So, really nice reading for you, um, Sagittarius. Beautiful, easy-going life uh, this week. So make it as easy as you possibly can. Obviously, some of you may well be going through difficulties. Uh, and if you are, if you want to get out of those difficulties, then you've got to start getting into a rhythm. This is what the Astro Flower is all about. Getting into the rhythm and getting some sort of coercion to what you're actually, do actually doing uh, and enjoying it. Uh, making, um, excuse me a second... I want to have a look at those two cards. Yeah. That's what you've got to leave behind. Okay? Headaches and uh, heartaches, basically. And move on to the sun and the emperor, as I was saying earlier on, that came out, that just popped out. So, yeah, move on to that and enjoying this week. And when you enjoy it, you're going to open a lot of opportunities for you. Okay? So, it's all in the preparation this week. This is a week of really preparing, feeling that undercurrent a little bit that's coming through. But as I said, it will be coming to the surface in your life in the next sort of two or three weeks. Um, there's loads of links in the description below that comes um, for the Astro Flower. Uh, and uh, you can follow us also on Instagram. We have our sister channel as well, which is all about energy, which is called Cymatic TV. Uh, there you go. Uh, if you want to support this channel, it's very easy to do. It's subscribe and click that bell. That's the first thing you can do. If you're already subscribed, I thank you very much. Uh, the best thing to do there if you want to help us is to share this video across all the social media platforms that you're connected with, liking it and commenting on this video. In the meantime, Sagittarius, don't forget, life should be fun, so please 
do enjoy.